бой крапового берета из белорусского спецназа Дениса Зуева против легенды тайского бокса Айк Врачи, всего за месяц собрал на нашем канале почти полтора миллиона просмотров. И поэтому я думаю, что надо продолжить знакомить вас с боями этого талантливого и зрелищного бойца. По большему счету, я вместе с вами открываю для себя мир кикбоксинга и кейван, поскольку много лет специализировался на смешанных единоборствах. И потому с немалым удивлением обнаружил бой, которым и хочу поделиться сегодня с вами. Он прошел в 2018 году в промоушне Кунун Файт в Китае, и Денис там бился с еще одним очень крутым бойцом, имя которого скажет очень немало для отечественных болельщиков. Им стал Владислав Туинов по прозвищу Орловский Бриллиант. Сейчас этот боец набрал огромную популярность в Ютубе, благодаря своим просто сумасшедшим зубодравительным нокаутам на турнирах Топ Дог и правда Олдскул Боксинг. Но и тогда, в 2018 году, несмотря на свой весьма молодой 20-летний возраст, Влад уже был двукратным чемпионом России, двукратным чемпионом Европы и двукратным чемпионом мира по кикбоксингу и рвался к покорению новых вершин. Ну а вы напишите в комментариях, хотите ли вы еще больше боев Дениса Зуева и Владислава Туинова на нашем канале? И стоит ли еще больше внимания уделять ударным видам единоборств? Дорогие друзья, с тех пор, как мы перезапустили наш канал, на нем опубликованы сотни видео с крутыми и зрелищными боями как с турниров M1 Global, так и других организаций. И мы рады, что они пользуются у вас большой популярностью. Новые видео выходят несколько раз в неделю. И чтобы не пропустить очередной шедевр из мира единоборств, настоятельно просим вас подписаться на наш канал, если вы этого еще не сделали. Ведь согласно статистике, 9 из 10 зрителей смотрят нас, увы, без подписки. А если же уже подписаны, то обязательно прожимайте колокольчик, чтобы быть в курсе всех обновлений. Заранее благодарны всем нашим уважаемым зрителям и желаем вам приятного просмотра. They both range each other out for only a moment before the strikes and the leather is thrown. So to get into this position, Tuinov, he defeated Moroccan fighter Ishmael Ben Ali. Zuev defeated, who he defeated in the final of 2014, Victor Nagbe. No, crushing. I'm a big Victor Nagbe fan, and again... Good right knee there from Tuinov, the diamond as he's known. Left hand as well. Yeah, Zuev is uh, stalking right now, he's playing Predator. Again, he's taking center stage, taking center control of the ring, and he's uh, oh! allowing his opponent, who just received a little bit of a low blow, will allow him to take his time. All the gentlemen in the stadium know what that feels like, <laughs> and it does not feel good. So Vlad Tuinov, as is known, the diamond, he is the uh, current W5, which is a Russian kickboxing promotion. He's the champion at 72.5 kgs, John. Arguable, arguable. 
flying attack. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right hand from two and now ducks under the pending attack of oh. two and then connects to the round. And the round! Uh, did a fantastic job that round. Uh, obviously, he needs to score. Oh, jumping great. right knee then from two, two and up. Yeah, he decided to go to the to the sky for an attack. Grabs the legs, whoever brings it back down. Couple couple leathers landed right there on the face, but like I said, they're all landing up on it high on his forehead. He can take those for days. They gotta, got, they gotta land on the jaw. Tunov's got beautiful boxing. Really admiring. A bit of a low one there again. Go. He acknowledges it. Zuev really struggling to find him. That head movement of Tuanov is something to be uh, behold. Well, and the lateral movement, again, of Vlad. The diamond knows how to shine, if you will. Very nice. Oh, oh, the stock is still happening. We're here in the second round. And the diamond, again, lateral movement, just able to circle and able to duck under those heavy hands. Dennis Zuev. And again. But we know what Zuev's got. He's got a motor for days. But that was yes. beautiful. The way he moved under that left hand, connected with the right hand to the jaw. But Zuev takes it. He's tough. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, blue corner, Russia. Red corner, Belarus. We've got a little, little international battle going on right here. Tongjing, China. Man, goes over again like you just oh. said. He needs to lower that punch by about three inches, and it's on the button. Oh! See the Floyd Mayweather of the uh, final eight right now. Two and off with those uh, head movements and those lateral movements you were talking about, John. It's very impressive. Yes, it is. The diamond definitely is again. Shining. He's also hating these low kicks. I mean, he hasn't eaten another one in the cup, but uh, you can definitely see he flinches every time just because he's almost anticipating for it to go. That's one way to slow your opponent high. down. Oh, yeah, bro. Again, if you believe in procreation, you know. <laughs> I'd like to think I do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure this young buck does. Come on now. So, a lot of fans here in China, too, and off. Oh, man. A handsome young fellow. Of, of course, the ladies were swooning upstairs, so. It's all happening here. I will not say the Justin Bieber of the KLF. Woo. Woo. I don't think he's going to appreciate that, to tell you the truth. He can't understand <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> the diamond again. Great lateral movement. Footwork for days. And it's basically stalemated by that very heavy guard of Zuev. Oh, slight slip there from two and off. Zuev connects to the left hand, but not enough pitch to power behind it. I'm saying again, the judges really could score the diamond's hand, hands. They're laying an imprint, but it's, it's very high on the skull. And I'm not telling you, I, I bet Zuev can eat that, you know, like cake. In my opinion, the diamond is shining brightly right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, good left hand left from Zuev. Yes. So again, the, you know, he's received about 15 on his cranium. He received one right there, and you actually saw it move. Yep. Round three, final round coming up here in the playbooks. KLF 77, this is the quarterfinal fight one to one. The young gun that is Vlad Tuanov from Russia, the diamond against Zuev, the 30-year-old from Belarus. And again, both Swinging these guys. Swinging left and right from Tuanov. Who is laying clear, crisper leather to face us as he goes back to the Air Max. I think it's an argument, John, that he's won both the first and the second round, in my opinion. So if Zuev wants to win this fight, I think he might have to find the knockout. Totally agree, because just because you're defending doesn't mean you're scoring those attacks. It, 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 this you is don't the art of the, getting, uh, defense. getting hit without getting hit. Yeah. And, and Tuanov is a master of not getting hit. Right. As he has shown, again, the Mayweather. Oh, they both blast each other one right there. The reddening, again, on the left eye of Zuev. I don't really think that that actually speaks to the damage that that has to play. But if you're only going to be able to score one thing or, or another, you, you got to go off of that, right? Zuev so was just doing exactly what I was talking about during the round. Was setting your punches up by kicking the low leg. Go right. low. Don't let don't let that kid move, and then find a hand. Especially when he's pawing out so far. The, the lovely long reach of that left hand. No! The diamond. Ooh, he just got another one. Jerked his neck back, and the gum shield went out. Cleanliness. Always important here at KLF. Oh, yeah. Slight breather for Zuev. Oh, yeah. He's going to appreciate that. 
veteran of the uh, 70 kg tournament and ever present as well. Man, again, I think he's just got such a beautiful card. Masterpiece to watch in it really action. Is. Again, the lateral movement comes into play of the diamond, who again can drop that left from anywhere. Oh, oh. there it is! Perfect timing, Nut. Cranked it back. The neck just whipped. And again, now they're at there. Now they're on their toes again. They know that they're coming down to the final minute of this third and final round. Anybody's game, have it, have it out. You know, one of the things though that KLF do promote is aggression. Yes. I like to see the per one of the fighters moving forward. Zuev is doing exactly that. So how will that score with the judges? Will they see that as more favourable? Well, I know that I'm not a fan of aggression, my friend. <laughs> it's all about the. Oh, end. snapping left hand there from Zuev. First time we've possibly have seen Suenov in trouble, and another left hand! Right in the corner in front of us. Sweat's getting knocked. Suenov trying to fight his way out of this predicament, and he's doing a good job of it as well. Connects with two right hands to end the round and the fight.主持人长，作为最顶级的比赛，由五位裁判裁定。一号裁判，Judge Wu Judge number five. And your winner. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, your winner via decision. Again, 30 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29